everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Today we have an interesting expression that is very common when you're driving, but you can use it at the office or at school or other places too. To give a wide berth, especially to give a wide berth to. Now it's not B-I-R-T-H, it's B-E-R-T-H. And what it means to give a wide berth means to give a lot of space. To give a lot of space to something. So a good example would be I'm carrying something very large. I'm carrying a, a big box of something, okay? and I'm walking through a hallway and there are people coming, I can say, oh, give me a wide berth, give me a wide berth. And what that would mean is, give me a lot of space. Please get out of the way, let me go through. So that's how you can use it at the office or at home or at school. If you're carrying something, give me a wide berth, please. Oh, wide berth, give me a wide berth. Sometimes trucks in America will have wide berth on the back of the truck or on the side of the truck. And what that means is don't get too close to the truck. Give the truck lots of space because it's really huge or maybe it has something dangerous or something like that in the truck. Okay? So this is the idea of give a wide berth to. We don't say the expression as much as we see the expression, especially on trucks. But in our conversation, we do have a great example. So listen up. Why are you slowing down? An ambulance is coming, son. So? You should always give emergency vehicles a wide berth. A father teaching his son. That's a good situation, and that's right. If you're driving down the road and there's an ambulance or a police car, a fire truck, maybe a tow truck or a wrecker, and you see them racing down the road, you should get out of the way. You should drive to the side, maybe stop, probably not stop, just slow down a little bit. Give them some space so they can drive through especially if it's an ambulance or a fire truck. We need to give them a wide berth. Obviously. Think about it. If you had an emergency, you would want the ambulance or the fire truck to arrive as soon as possible. So give a wide berth to emergency vehicles. And if somebody is carrying something, here's an example. I have three hot coffees. They're very hot. Oh, give me a wide berth, give me a wide berth. In that situation, you should give that person a wide berth too. Okay? That's today's E-cubed expression. If you have any questions, you've heard an expression, what does it mean? How do you use this expression? Leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. Right now I have about I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 questions that I will do videos on, but I always need more. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Why are you slowing down? An ambulance is coming, son. So? You should always give emergency vehicles a wide berth. Why are you slowing down? An ambulance is coming, son. So? You should always give emergency vehicles a wide berth. Why are you slowing down? An ambulance is coming, son. So? You should always give emergency vehicles a wide berth. 